Denny Van here, a heartfelt thank you for being here. Today, we're going to be talking about something interesting, something I've had to deal with my whole life, being the second oldest or the oldest daughter of eight kids in a family. Have you always tried to please people? Are you a people pleaser? <laughs> Today, I want to talk about seven unhealthy relationship habits. These are mistakes that people make for being nice. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to offend. You don't want to cause any waves, right? If this is you, listen in, because we're going to be talking about the top seven unhealthy relationship habits. And again, these are habits. Habits can be reprogrammed. All right, let's start out with number one. Number one is not speaking up when you're hurt or upset. And I know so many people, they just shut down and walk away and then they stew on it. When we do this, it's not healthy for our body. We need to speak up. Something about this isn't right. I'm having a reaction to this. You might not know why, but something about this, speak up. Speak up when you're hurt. You know, this This is hurting me. This This makes make I statements. I am whatever this is. I am hurt. I am upset about this. So practice these little short scripts, if you will, because in programming, you know, we do write scripts. So you want to reprogram how you react, what your habit is in these kind of situations. This is really important because not speaking up and saying, I am hurt or I am upset about whatever this is. It goes internally instead of externally and looking for a resolution. It's going to go internally and you end up doing on it. If you can relate to this, let me know in the comments. So the second thing that we do <laughs> that is really not healthy and is a habit, again, habit can be reprogrammed, is saying yes to things when you don't want to do them. Yeah, 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 I'll do it. And then it never gets done. So I've been on the other end of this where somebody has told me, yes, I'm going to do that. And weeks go by. So here's something that you can begin to program yourself with right now. Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Because if you say yes to somebody and then you don't follow through, that means you do those things to yourself. You tell yourself, I'm going to do this, and then it doesn't happen. So it starts with yourself. If you say yes to something that you're going to do, then you do it. So this is not a way of being nice by telling somebody, yeah, 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 I'll do it, and then don't do it. That is not being nice. It's basically, for some people, it can be um, gaslighting. Because you said you're going to do something and then you're not following through. And then you wonder why your family, your friends, whatever, um, are upset with you. You think you're being nice, but this is not nice. It's not healthy for relationships. Let me know in the comments. This is a habit that you have. And to reprogram that habit, number one, if you say yes to something, whether it's to someone else or to yourself, it's a yes. It's a hell yes. And don't say yes or no if it's not yes or no. You can create scripts like, mm, give me 24 hours to think about that. I'll get back with you tomorrow. And then you can give yourself time and space to come up with a response rather than a reaction. And again, we're all guilty of these things. These are things that I've done to reprogram these behaviors that were learned. Right? We learn these behaviors thinking you know, okay, we're going to be nice. And this is what you do to be nice. The third way we kind of sabotage our relationships is by blaming yourself for other people's failures. I'm going to say that again. Blaming yourself for other people's failures. And this happens a lot, especially when we're children. Children will blame themselves for their parents separating or getting divorced. Or they'll blame themselves for a parent being in a bad mood, right? So we learn this kind of behavior 
at a very young age. And many times we're not told, oh, honey, this has nothing to do with you. You're good. It has nothing to do with you. So if this is something that you do, let me know in the comments, because to re-script this is I am responsible for my reactions. Nobody else is responsible. And I'm not responsible for anybody else's mood or reaction. Just observe them. And I know sometimes these things are easier said than done. That's why you want to reprogram by creating these new scripts. And we do this in our one-on-one -on -one and group sessions. So the fourth thing that this is an unhealthy relationship habit that you might be doing and might think is being nice, and that's trying to fix or save someone who isn't willing to fix or save themselves. Yeah, it's not being nice. Because it's not your job to fix anyone. I had to learn this, you know, uh, having children and, you know, in the ministry and working with people, you know, I really had to learn this because I had to stop giving advice and, you know, just being the observer and saying, oh, I'm sorry you're going through that. If you need anything, let me know. And then leaving it at that because it's the other person's responsibility. Or another thing I see happen quite often that falls under this fourth category of being nice is dating someone in order to fix them, you know, changing them, fixing them, and dating them. It's not your job. Again, if somebody needs to be fixed and they don't want to be fixed, now it's your decision to decide if you want to get in a relationship like that. Because then they stay stagnant while you're working on yourself, fixing yourself, if you will, reprogramming yourself. And then you're with someone who wants nothing to do with that. So you have to ask yourself, do you want to be with someone who is not willing to fix themselves or save themselves? If they're not willing to do it themselves, you have no business doing it for them. So this is really important when you're looking to create a relationship. The fifth thing, and I'm so guilty of this, the fifth thing is apologizing for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Oh, sorry. Sorry for what? I don't know. I'm just sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry I'm here. Sorry I laughed. Sorry I'm crying. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> so you are sorry for nothing. I mean, being in your center and just being allowing yourself to just be and observe and then watch how many times in a day you will apologize for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Number one, become aware that this is a behavior within your nervous system. Number two, know that this behavior can be reprogrammed, but it comes across as something far different than what we think it comes across as, and that is being nice. It's not being nice when you apologize for absolutely nothing. So reprogram yourself with new scripts. If you're late, thank you for your patience. That's it. No excuse, no reason necessary. Thank you for your patience. Let's move on. Let's keep moving forward rather than going backwards uh, in that way within the relationship. So number six, <laughs> I know we're going through these really fast, but if you're thinking about them, hmm, do I do that? Notice, become aware of when you're in these habits of being nice, because it's a mistake to think that these habits are actually being nice. So number six, allowing yourself to be disrespected and used, and then normalizing it with excuses. Now, this one's kind of a sticky one, isn't it? I'm going to say that again. You are not being nice. This is an unhealthy habit. If you allow yourself to be disrespected and used and then normalizing it with an excuse. And we see this a lot in narcissistic relationships, you know, where somebody will treat a waiter better than they treat you. And then you internalize it. Maybe I said something to offend them. Maybe I fill in the blank, and therefore it's my fault that they're behaving this way. 
So stop this in the butt because you are here. And when you respect others, you create a cycle of respecting back. So if you're respecting someone and they are disrespecting you, this is not normal. And we're not going to normalize this behavior because you have to respect yourself first. And if you don't respect yourself, then others might be mirroring your disrespect for yourself. The other thing is there's a bunch of assholes out there and dicks. So they're disrespecting everybody and everything. So you have to have your clear boundaries. I do not accept that behavior. Done. Done. It's done. Because there is no normalizing this behavior. People are getting so angry and so caught up and so reactive right now that this can't be normal. We can't say accept it and say, oh, that's normal. We have a lot of things going on in our society. You know, hot topic right now is what is a woman? <laughs> you know, and accepting all of these descriptions as what is a woman and normalizing it. So you have to ask yourself, is this disrespectful? How do I create my boundaries? And then create the script around that so that you're ready and prepared how you're going to respond as opposed to react. Now, the seventh, the seventh unhealthy relationship habit that many of us make for a mistake for being nice. And that is taking care of others instead of taking care of yourself. How many times did you put yourself on the list of things to do and end up pushing it down toward the bottom and it not getting done at all? Yeah, I'm totally guilty of that too. So the most important thing to do is become aware that you are engaging in these habits. Because again, they're habits. They're learned from our parents, our caregivers, how other people treat each other. We intuitively learn these habits, but these are mistakes coming across as being nice. So we're not doing these to be nice. These are bad habits. And when we begin to, first of all, become aware of them, once we're aware of them, then what we do in our one-on-one -on -one in our group is we program the subconscious to reprocess, reprogram, and reorganize these habits with scripts so that when you come across any of these seven unhealthy relationship habits that you may be engaged in, you're becoming aware of them. Then you begin to reprogram and your relationships begin to take on a whole new dynamic. And it's more heart self. When you reprogram these seven unhealthy relationship habits, your all of your relationships begin to be reprogrammed and you get to decide. So with that said, if you like this content and you want more of this content, do subscribe, leave a like and share because it does help us get the message out there. And in the meantime, Keep being amazing.